the word never is very, very strong, and I've learned to never say never anymore. But for sure, one of the luxury items that I will probably never buy is a lambskin bag. But there's a catch. Not all lambskin bags. I only mean lambskin bags that are shoulder bags. So only those that don't have a top hand. And today I have a super fun tag video. I was tagged by my lovely friends, Isabel and Kat L. It's about five luxury items that I will never buy. The person that started this tag, I think his name is Connor, so I will link all of their videos down below. I've decided to add a bit of twist. I will actually share specifically five luxury items that I will never buy from Chanel. And I feel like the word never is very strong. I will just say never for the foreseeable future until I change my mind. I am not against lambskin. I actually have fallen in love with how lambskin feels, but I still do believe that lambskin has its place and time. So unless it's a bag that I can baby or that I wouldn't wear all the time, evening clutch, something that you don't really use all the time, or even if it's really, really small in size. So micro bags, I think I will be okay with lambskin. Um, but aside from that, if it's a larger bag, it must, it must have a top handle, which is why if you look at my entire collection, of all the bags that I own, all the lambskin bags that I own always have a top handle. The Trendy CC, the Vanity Case, um, even my Chanel 19 has a top handle even though that lambskin is really, really durable. So basically, I will probably never buy a lambskin bag that is only a shoulder bag, such as a classic flap. I know a lot of people have been really, really crazy about the current season 21B's classic flap with the rose gold hardware. However, it only comes in lambskin, I believe. It comes in black lambskin, which don't get me wrong, it is super pretty. And if you have it, congratulations. Please don't worry. It's just that for me, I feel uncomfortable buying a classic flap, which is essentially only a shoulder bag. And sometimes you can wear it crossbody. I just feel like there's too much friction rubbing back and forth when I wear my classic flap and I know how much I enjoy my classic flap. I have just done a thorough review, like a one month review after owning this. I'll link it up here if you want to see it. Um, basically the classic flap, especially in the size small, has become one of my favorite go-to and I just found myself enjoy using this bag so much more than I ever thought which is great because then I will get my cosplay wear, but I definitely, definitely would never have considered it if it was in lambskin, no matter how beautiful the color is. For me, having a handle is crucial because the handle allows you to really minimize wear and tear rubbing against your body. I also feel that when you choose to wear a top handle bag, you are going to places where you're not running around and uh, not so rushed anyway. So maybe the place that you're going to just allows you to be a bit more uh, caring and just be more mindful. So yeah, no lambskin bags that have no top handle. Second Chanel luxury item that I will probably never buy again, uh, because I do own one, is another jumbo flap. And I think I have to clarify here because I do own larger bags. I have two Neverfulls, which are larger bags. I have a Celine Trapeze, which is a larger bag. And I guess my other larger bag is the Jumbo, because even my Chanel 19 is the size small, which is kind of borderline medium size, I would say. Uh, the Trendy CC is a larger bag because this is only a shoulder bag and it is quite heavy and because it fits a lot, larger bags tend to fit a lot, they get even heavier whereas the Trendy CC actually doesn't fit as much as you think and the fact that I'm able to carry it uh, by hand, by the handle, it alleviates the weight issue. Um, I guess because I have shoulder problems, so I'd rather just hold it with my actual muscles on my arms rather than on my shoulder where it actually weighs it down and then gives me back pain and neck pain. I will most likely never ever ever buy any more classic flaps in the larger sizes. I think the maximum I'll go is a medium large and even then I, I'm not 100% sure until I try it on and I feel comfortable with it. I know for sure the size small 
is my size, my kind of size, because it's just big enough to fit everything I need, but it's a step up from a mini flat, which is very, very casual. I do really enjoy the look of a proper shoulder bag. Even just holding the two together, I feel like this one is heavier, even though this one is only a single flap. Someone asked me in the video, uh, what's the weight of each of these? So I will be putting it on the screen right now. The weight of this small classic flap versus the weight of the jumbo flap. At the end of the day, it is still a single flap, so it will be a lot lighter than the regular double flap version, which is why I prefer this one, which is why I decided to go with this one. Um, I did get influence, I guess, years ago when the jumbo size was the size to get. Without this, without my Deauville, without uh, a lot of the larger bags that I bought in the past that I no longer have, I would never have learned, even though it's learning the hard way, that larger bags just don't suit me because of its weight, because of its bulkiness, because of my uh, shoulders. I just know this one, I'm fairly sure, I just know that a jumbo flap is not ever going to be in my horizon of classic flaps to get, even if I were to get another one. If it's a size that doesn't work for me, I will just... I will just pass no matter how beautiful that collection is there's always always going to be another collection that you will like just as much <laughs> so, by the way my name is amy if you're brand new to my channel and i would love to have you back so please do consider subscribing especially if you love this kind of video okay so far never will i buy a jumbo flap and never will i buy a classic flap that is in lambskin What's next, Amy? What are you not gonna buy also from Chanel? Well, the next thing that I will never buy any more again of, I feel, um, are brooches. I currently have three. I had four before that. I sold one this year. And these are basically the only ones that I am still keeping in my collection. So uh, here they are. There's nothing wrong with them. And I honestly... Don't think that you should stop buying them if you love them and if you are a brooch wearer. But I feel like for me, there's a... I don't know. For me, there's a few reasons, I suppose. I mean, like I said, nothing wrong with these brooches. No quality issues, nothing like that. I often have outfits that are already quite embellished. And even if I'm wearing a more simple outfit, I feel like I don't want to add a brooch in those instances anyway because the reason why I want to dress more simple is because that day I just felt like being super casual. So it kind of works against what I need them for, right? I initially thought that having these brooches will just look amazing every time I wear a blazer, but I just don't really grab for them. I just don't care to grab for them so much when I want to wear a simple outfit. I just want to look more simple, right? Um, in fact, I'd rather wear a pair of earrings because I love my earrings, or I'd rather wear a belt. It's the action. It's the, just the motion of grabbing it, putting it on, fixing it. That is that extra step that I'm too lazy to do. You know what I mean? So unless, unless maybe I dedicate these brooches on uh, one piece of garment and I just know which one it is and it'll forever stay there, then maybe. So yeah, I have these three brooches. I love them because they are very pretty and I, I feel like I chose uh, three different styles <laughs> that will pretty much complement any outfit, but I wouldn't add any more. And honestly, I might still let them go one day because if I really don't wear them, then what's the point of holding on to them, right? The next Chanel item that I will probably never buy any more of is a 90 centimeter square silk scarf and it's really, really pretty. It has pink in it, it has grays in it, it has whites in it. The silk is really soft and the pattern is really pretty and it's just such a classic piece. However, I think I will no longer be buying any more Chanel scarves. Uh, and I don't want to say never for this one because it's really strong of a word, but I feel like I would not because I have fallen in love with Hermes scarves. I dedicated a whole video styling my Hermes scarves several different ways. The reason why I wouldn't buy any more Chanel ones is because I really do prefer my Hermes ones. I feel like the quality on the Hermes ones are just, they're just superb. Um, it's a bit of ASMR for you. They are just thicker, they're just superb. They drape beautifully, but they have substance. So they have 
this drape that doesn't seem to crease as easily and the drape is also more structural in other words it hides more lumps and bumps when you wear it as a top because i'm a huge fan of wearing these silk scarves the 90 centimeter size as a top and it just is no match there is just no match to the thickness and quality of the Hermes ones versus all the other brands that I've owned so Chanel and I have some like boutique ones don't get me wrong the print on this one the color on this one and even the quality on this one there's no issues with the quality it's just that it's a more thinner and silkier softer texture and so it drapes a different way it drapes more beautifully as an actual you know an actual scarf so wearing it just around your neck which is still beautiful don't get me wrong here okay <laughs> they are still beautiful and worn as an, a scarf around your neck is fine but as a top and as other means of wearing these which are not typical i understand that um it's just less versatile that way i just prefer the texture and the material of the hermes even though they are not as soft to the touch like this one is super soft it's like so soft it's like petting baby skin whereas the other one has more of a roughness but i like that roughness i hope it makes sense now um if not it doesn't matter you'll just have to try it for yourself the other thing that i love about hermes scarves is that they're actually less expensive i mean some of them are still more expensive because they do have the limited prints or they have the double-sided print those ones are more expensive but i feel like in general for the majority their scarves are actually better priced than the chanel ones and they have so many different prints i mean i know they can look a bit grandma-ish because i feel like that's where chanel will always win is the aesthetic it's younger it's fresher it's more fashion the fifth chanel item that i will probably never buy and that's a pretty strong probably are chanel espadrilles i don't own them i've never tried them but i will still never buy them and i am pretty sure i will never ever buy them unless they start changing the design of the ergonomics of the shoe the problem with those espadrilles and even the majority of chanel shoes i would say is that they are very uncomfortable for several reasons look at any espadrilles they are flat as a pancake they are so hard the material itself there's just not enough support design wise for your feet and i know a lot of people still love them and that's fine because you guys are healthy enough to wear those but for a lot of us we have issues with joints with feet we have surgery whatnot so we need the comfort and the support in our footwear in order to be able to decently walk in them i get it sometimes you still have to break in a shoe and uh, that could be because of the material maybe it's a little stiffer than you're used to i just can't do footwear that is uncomfortable for me my shoes have to have some sort of ergonomics in it even if it doesn't have those hardcore heel support or arch support it has to have some sort of curve it has to have a softer material so if it's leather it cannot be a very hard leather like no caviar or no epsom like those material are probably gonna be terrible for me also i don't like flat as a pancake either i prefer my shoes to have at least a centimeter of two in height even if they're flatter shoes right a little bit of that curve really helps let me know down below what are some of the chanel things that you will never ever buy and i think there is going to be a ton of different things so we live and learn again if you're brand new to my channel i would love 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 to have you back so please do subscribe like this video and also thank you girls for tagging me i will also tag some people in the description uh i haven't prepared that ahead of time but hopefully you guys can do it as well and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye